Hi folks, welcome to the Prepared Homestead. This is Travis. Thank you all for stopping by to watch. A little different this morning because we're about ready to get slammed with some storms. I think we'll be okay. Um, nothing right now is looking tornadic. Um, and it looks like it's mostly just some uh, higher wind gusts, 50, 55 mile hours, what's being reported coming at us. And potential of like nickel to quarter size hail. So while it's certainly the potential to damage some things i think we'll be okay but you know like us guys do we stay out in it and we watch it <laughs> um just, just in case just in case you know we need to make a quick decision um have you have you guys noticed that the um that the news just doesn't like to talk about the serious things i mean this is not anything new um, but I noticed this morning I got up uh, pretty early uh, just in case these storms because they were uh, last night uh, they were saying that these storms would hit at like four o'clock in the morning. So I made sure I was up. And then, of course, as I'm sitting here, it's kind of slowed down. And uh, here it is now uh, about 630 and they're just now starting to hit. But anyways, so I've been looking at the news and. Notice that like CNN and um, I think Reuters or someone else, a couple of the mainstream news sources, you know, they do these, you know, top things to watch today in the news or, or something like that. And, and everything is just, it's silly stuff, you know. I mean, the, the, the most important thing that was in, in either of their lists was Donald Trump being technically arrested and arraigned yesterday. Um, and of course, I believe at least what we can tell so far, it's just frivolous charges. It's, it's all political. We know that. Uh, but I still think that there's, there's some kind of distraction. There's something else because it just none of it really makes sense that if the charges are so thin, if the case is so thin, why go to all this effort only to very likely and we'll, what we're seeing happen is just to uh, increase his popularity even more. I mean, they claimed that um, since the indictment came down last week that uh, he's raised like over $10 million and, and his, his popularity numbers have just skyrocketed. So it doesn't make sense that they would be doing this without some kind of, um, some kind of plan if the charges really aren't that, that strong. So uh, part of it could be distraction. I'm sure there's other things that they're doing. Um, but the point is, is that the news is just talking about all kinds of silly things. They're not talking about the fact that, um, you know, job openings have dropped this, this past month, uh, much lower than were expected. Uh, the numbers came out on job numbers and they're horrible looking, you know, they're, they're, they're almost like a, a million jobs less than what was expected. Uh, we're seeing companies all over do massive layoffs. Um, even McDonald's, a company that's always been, while not, you know, when it comes to market stuff, the, you know, the big earner, but it's always something that, you know, you can kind of guarantee that it, it'll be stable. Um, and here uh, McDonald's is, is talking about, you know, they, they've shut down their corporate offices and they're laying off a bunch of people. We're seeing this across the board everywhere. We're also seeing companies, I noticed that Google, um, and they're one of the companies that were famous for this, you know, where you, you work at them and they have, you know, a private masseuse for every employee and you everybody gets free meals. They have laundry service. I didn't even know that because it was mentioned. They have laundry service, like like dry cleaning service. You, you, you can bring your dry cleaning to work and they'll do your dry cleaning for all kinds of stuff. Well, they're cutting all of that stuff out. They're cutting all those extra little frilly things out uh, because it's too expensive and they're losing money. Uh, we're watching the economy grind to a halt, folks. Um, with with job layoffs, um, with companies doing major cutbacks. Um, saw something uh, yesterday, I think it was, saying that executive bonuses this year were the lowest they've been in like 10 or 20 years. Um, that that we're, we're just seeing everything come down. And I think the media's job right now is, is to distract you from that. They don't want you to know the truth. And unfortunately, the average American, I don't want to sound awful, but I mean, I guess you can say they're just too dumb to realize what's really going on. I'm not saying everyone, of course. I know I'm certainly not you listening. Um, and, and a lot of people get it, but there's so many that 
<laughs> they could be paying $25 for a gallon of milk and $100 for a gallon of gasoline. As long as the media told them that everything was fine, they'd still believe it. And that's, that's the place that we're at. And for those of you watching all this happen, some of you may be waiting for that that big moment that it's 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 like a real explosion of the market where where the economy is just very overtly imploding and people are behaving erratically and and it's just like an overnight explosion so to speak that may not happen i mean it's possible it could but it may not because we're we're watching this very much controlled demolition of everything uh, it, it's they are running really tight controls on this of of um, manipulating things to slow it down on their time, and they're doing so. Plus, with all the, the the psychological manipulation that's been going on for the last several years of the American population, we're seeing this being done, and most of the American people don't get it. They don't see it. They they just you know it's just a, an, another day, another average day, and. And um, no one is really reacting too much. I mean, the, the stock market isn't really reacting. I think it went down, I don't know, it went down a little yesterday, but it's not reacting. You would think that the stock market would just be plummeting like massive numbers because of all this, but they're, they're not. Um, and I've said before, don't go by what the stock market numbers are. Um, in fact, after many of you don't know this, but after the Kennedy assassination in the 60s, uh, immediately after. Everyone thought the stock market would probably crash for something that major, and the stock market actually rallied and went up quite a bit that week. Uh, so don't go by the stock market. They're just money-hungry people trying to make m more billions off of you. The thing is, is that it is happening. All the numbers show it. GDP slowing down. Um, the, the whole China and Russia-led BRICS nations are growing. They're, they're, they're now openly saying that they are trying to bring down the U.S. dollar and the American economy. Uh, it's, it's not a secret anymore. There's no longer a conspiracy that we were talking about a year or two ago. Uh, it's all very much out in the open now. And <clears throat> there's, there's no way I could see that this is going to end up really good. Um, the only way at this point, and this is historically speaking, um, going back through centuries of how these things cycle. The only way for America really to come out on top at this point is for an all-out war with China and, and the BRICS nations. Uh, that, that's the only way at this point, I believe. Uh, because these kind of things, you know, you have your economic uh, war that goes on, and right now it looks like China is starting to, to win this one. Um, and then when that doesn't work, then you have to move on to an actual physical, kinetic, traditional warfare. And if America doesn't win that one, then we are completely done when it comes to the economy and very much uh, possibly as a nation. I mean, we're already, you know, basically committing a, a sort of political suicide um, when it comes to things like what's happening with, with Donald Trump. Um, and, and most of you know, I'm not a I'm not a hater of Donald Trump at all, but I'm not one of the big fanboys either that just thinks he's walks on water. But uh, regardless of that, uh, how can we go around the world claiming we're some kind of democracy, even though I mean, we're not we're a republic. I know that. But let's just go by what they say, that we're this free democracy when we're, uh, you know, arresting and charging former presidents that are currently, you know, running. I mean, this is the kind of stuff that third worlds do. And so America is, it's not just in decline. It's been in decline for decades. It's in a steep decline. It's in a, and it's in a snowball uh, effect and it's only going to get worse. And I know this sounds so doomsday-ish. There's going to be at least one or two people in the comments, probably more than that. that oh my goodness. Uh, you know, uh, hello with the the fear mongering and all that it's not fear mongering folks this is this is the real deal it's happening um and the thing that that i think we need to focus cuz i mean can can you and i help you know do anything about the donald trump or about the dollar d dropping or unemployment no we can't fix that but we can fix ourselves or we can prepare ourselves uh, because we are, I think, on the verge of seeing some massive economic strife in this country. We've seen for the last couple of years this buildup where it's gotten worse. 
Um, I think the, the floodgates are about to open on that. And we're going to see food, um, fuel, energy costs, all that kind of stuff. I saw a report uh, yesterday someone sent me. I, I had missed it. Um, that uh, things like a wheat, uh, the, the wheat crop this year is absolutely horrible. Most of the states, uh, the wheat crop was only rated the good, you know, because they rate a percentage for good and a percentage for bad and all this kind of stuff. The good uh, was only like in the teens and low 20 percent, which is horrible. You know, we've typically in the past seen the ratings, you know, in the in the 40, 50, 60, sometimes 80 percent. Um, the wheat crop this year was absolutely horrible. It was, it was just, and, and we're seeing that with a lot of the, the, the crops this year. Um, fertilizer costs going to be much higher than last year. Feeding costs going to be much higher than last year. Um, so food's just going to go up. We've been seeing this for two years now, food continually going up. It's, it's going to get worse. It's not peaked. We're not on the downside of it. I don't think it's, it's not even close to getting to the peak yet. It's gonna get worse, folks. And the cost of everything, because of various reasons, including the devaluation of our dollar, it's gonna get rough. And as much as we, we see all of this other big stuff going on, wars and Trump arrests and you know, all that kind of stuff, that's, that's indicators of everything. We can't fix it. Um, so, you know, my advice is to is to while we see it and we notice it to keep our focus uh, under control you know control your focus and your your view uh, so that you're focusing on yourself your family uh, your community getting those things ready um, it, food's more expensive than it's ever been but still for the average person it's still somewhat affordable i mean i, I understand we the last time we went and bought groceries i just about fell over Thought I was going to have a heart attack when she told me how much it was. Usually I keep track, and that was one of the times that I didn't keep track as we were shopping. And it wasn't that much stuff. And it wasn't, you know, the only things that we buy at the grocery store are the just basic staples. You know, we don't buy, we don't eat junk food. We don't get, you know, ice cream and potato chips and little snackies and stuff. We don't do that kind of stuff. Um, and it was just, it was crazy uh, how expensive it was. That's going to keep happening. Uh, so, but you, but you can still stock up. It's just going to hurt a little bit more. Uh, be getting things stocked up, um, stacking it to the rafters because it's, it's not going to get good for a while. Um, try not to allow, um, mainstream or any kind of media really for that matter, um, family, friends, neighbors, co-workers, all that to distract you away from the things that are going on because we're still seeing, as bad as it's getting, we're still seeing more and more people. Oh, it's it's just it, it's just a little downturn. It's going to be a soft landing. You know, it's it'll be a little, little recession. You know, we've gone from, oh, it's not going to be a, you know, we're not going down. It's not a recession to, well, now it is going to be one, but it'll be an easy one. Don't worry. It'll be fine. <sighs> Don't listen to them, folks, because it's there, there's too many things lining up. I mean, you know, for the last couple of years, I've said a perfect storm is lining up. And I didn't even know then how much of a really perfect, really bad storm that is lining up. So keep getting your houses in order, folks. Keep stacking, keep stocking up, keep developing your skills, getting yourself ready. Um, it, it's like you're preparing for battle. Um, that kind of readiness is what you need to be doing. Uh, work on your self, you know, you're just being self-sufficient. That's, you know, that's going to be a huge, huge factor in all this. Um, produce, produce, produce. Stop just being a consumer, being a, be a producer of your needs. Folks, right now, it's the time to get your houses in order to prepare mentally, physically, and spiritually. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.